Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to make beautiful crochet squares but with no gaps. It is solid granny square dear friends. As you see there is no gap in the corners. It is perfect, it is solid and it's a very nice project for crochet beginners. You can make cardigans, blankets, tablecloths, bed covers, anything you can imagine using this uh, very simple, very solid granny square. The pattern is very easy. It will go on repeating the same pattern at each row over and over. Okay, dear friends, let's go on how to make this. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell. And if you like this video, please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much. Let's go on how to make this. For this, we need some yarn. I am using this cotton yarn and we need 3 mm hook according to the thickness of our yarn. I am starting with magic ring. I am doing magic ring like this, turning the yarn and slip stitch. I am keeping this place, making 3 chains, 1, 2, 3 yarn over. I am going to make two double crochet around this ring. Double crochet. One, double crochet, two, like this. After making two double crochet around this ring, now I am making two times yarn over inserting my hook again in the same ring and making a triple crochet two by two i am making pull through three times one two and this is three times pull through like this and making yarn over inserting my hook again in the same ring making three double crochet this is one double crochet this is second double crochet and this is the third double crochet like this dear friends after making this three double crochet now i am making two times yarn over inserting my hook again in the same ring and making a triple crochet Three times pull through I will make one, two and three. Now I am going to make three double crochet. This is double crochet one. This is double crochet two. And this is double crochet three like this. Do you see the corner tops that we made triple crochets here and here? After making three double crochet, once again I am going to make a triple crochet. Three times pull through making. Now three times double crochet. one two and three let me show you it's been like this after making three double crochet once again i'm going to make a triple crochet yes like this one corner two corner three corner and this is the fourth corner uh, there should be totally 16 stages dear friends let's count together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen this is 15 and this first three chain is the 16 there are totally 16 stitches around the ring now i am 
pulling this yarn end and I am closing the ring. One moment. Let's pull it tightly and close the ring. Look, there is no gap in the middle and I am inserting my hook at top of the three chains like this. Okay, the first round or the square is finished. You see one, two, three and four corner like this. For the second round, first of all, I am making three chains. One, two, three. We will consider these three chains as the first double crochet of the second row. I am making yarn over, going to the following stitch, making another double crochet. Going to the following stitch, making another double crochet, including the first three chains. Now we have three double crochet. This one, this is the triple crochet of the first row. We are going to found the corner on this. First of all, I am inserting my hook on top of this triple crochet and firstly making two double crochet. Double crochet one, inserting my hook in the same stitch, making double crochet two. Now I am going to make the triple crochet as the corner top of the second round like this. I am going to make a triple crochet in the same stitch like this and I am making two double crochet. This is double crochet one. This is double crochet two. Like this we found the first corner of the second round. There are totally five stitches on this uh, triple crochet of the uh, previous round. I mean on this triple crochet, first of all we made uh, two double crochet, one triple crochet and two double crochet. It is totally five stitches. We will always consider the triple crochets as the uh, corner tops of each uh, corner. And when we go to the upper row, we are going to found the corner of the third row on these uh, triple crochets uh, each time. Okay, now I am going to the following stitch, making a double crochet, going to the following stitch, making another double crochet, yarn over, going to the following stitch, making another double crochet. Now we came to the corner top of the second corner of previous row. I mean we came here. First of all, we are going to make two double crochet on this triple crochet. This is double crochet one. This is double crochet two. For the corner top, we are making a triple crochet. Like this and then we are going to make two double crochet one two okay we finish the second corner uh, of the second row now I will go on one by one making double crochets till the corner top of this uh, third corner making a double crochet, yarn over, going to the following stitch, making another double crochet, yarn over, going to the following stitch, making another double crochet, yarn over. Now we came to the triple crochet here. I am inserting my hook on top of this triple crochet. First of all, making two double crochet. One, two, and then making two times yarn over, inserting my hook in the same stitch, making a triple crochet and making two double crochet more. This is double crochet one 
and this is double crochet too. Now we made the third corner uh, of the second round. From now on, I am going to make double crochets one by one. This is one, this is two, and this is three. Three times double crochet, we made one by one. And we came to the triple crochet. On this triple crochet, we are going to make the fourth uh, corner of the second round. First of all, we are making two double crochet and then making two times yarn over and making a triple crochet. Yarn over, inserting our hook in the same stitch here and making two more double crochet. This is double crochet one and this is double crochet two. And you will remember we made three chains when we start the second round. We are considering these three chains as the first double crochet of the second round. For this reason, in order to close this uh, second round, I am inserting my hook at top of this uh, third chain, three chain I mean. Uh, making a slip stitch and the second round is finished like this. From now on the pattern will repeat each other. I mean first of all uh, when we start the upper row we are always making three chains and we will consider these three chains as the first double crochet and one by one we are going to make double crochets till we reach up to the a triple crochet. One by one I am making double crochets. Yes. Here. This is the triple crochet. If you think you may miss the triple crochet, then I advise you to put a stitch marker on each corner top, I mean on each triple crochet. For example, you can use this kind of stitch markers. If you don't this kind of stitch uh, marker, then you can use an opposite color of uh, yarn. And what you are going to do, in order not to miss the triple crochet at corner top, you can remark it with this different colors of yarn. One moment, like this. Yes, for example. If you do this, you never uh, miss the triple crochet on corner top. And when you come to this uh, stitch, uh, then you will make two double crochet, one triple crochet, two double crochet, always at top of each triple crochet. I am now on top. For this reason, first of all, on top of this triple crochet, I am making two double crochet. And after making two double crochet, I am making two times yarn over, inserting my hook in the same stitch and making a triple crochet. Like this yarn over. I am making two more double crochet on this corner top. This is one double crochet and this is second double crochet. And I can put the stitch marker and uh, remark it with another color of yarn as I showed you in order not to miss the corner top. Yes. I put this stitch marker on top of the triple crochet. If you do this on top of each corner, you will never miss the uh, triple crochet. Now, I will go to the other corner top by making double crochets one by one, inserting our hook in each following stitch.
here this is this one is the triple crochet as well first of all I am making two double crochet on top of this one two and then making two times yarn over inserting my hook again in the same stitch making a triple crochet and making two more double crochet like this and I am putting a stitch marker or as I or as I showed you you can put a different color of yarn on top of the triple crochet and I will go on in the same way I showed you I will follow the same what I did here and here and like this I will come to the end of the row I came to the end of this row I am inserting my hook at top of the first three chains and yarn over pull through making a slip stitch and we finish this row the pattern is like this dear friends it will repeat each other one by one you can make this bigger and bigger as you like for example you can make this very big and you can use it as a blanket or you can make a tablecloth and you can make uh, little squares like this in different colors and join them to each other side by side you can make bed cover or tablecloth or bags or sweaters anything you can imagine this is a very useful square uh, pattern dear friends even the very beginners can easily make them and like this they enjoy crocheting by following my video till now now i'm going to make a few rows and i will come back to you yes dear friends i crocheted a few rows it's been like this as I told you before, you can make it bigger and bigger crocheting row by row. When you come to the end, you will just make one chain and you will cut the yarn like this. Later on, you will hide this in the back side. I will show you how we are going to hide these yarn ends in the back. For this, I'm using darning needle. I'm hiding it in the back side. inserting my hook through the stitches a few times I am doing this be careful the stitches shouldn't be seen in the front side after that I am cutting it as you see it is disappeared I am doing the same thing for the other yarn end I am doing it again in the back side I'm inserting my needle through the stitches a few times I'm doing this look it's not being seen in the front side and cutting the yarn that's all dear friends now we have a perfect square with no gaps yes dear friends we came to the end of another project with you hope this video is useful for you hope i can be helpful to teach you how to crochet in a perfect way i will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials and i will be happy if you subscribe my youtube channel activate the info bell and if you like this video please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials thank you so much see you in the coming videos